Hello everyone, welcome to this brand new lesson. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can install Visual Studio code in your computer so that you can code in a Python. So the moreover, I'm gonna show you how you can use a Python in a Visual Studio code. So the first of all, you have to download this Visual Studio code. If you click on this sign here, Windows Download, so it will download your Visual Code Studio for Windows. I have already downloaded, so it is already available in my computer. Let me show you. All right. So there you see a Visual Code Studio, uh, Visual Studio Code is downloaded in my computer. You can simply double click, then it will start installing in your computer. And thereafter, you have to follow along with this uh, Visual Studio Code. It says that uh, smart screen can't be reached right now. Right now, okay, that's okay, not an issue. So just run it. All right. Thereafter, you will get these license. Definitely, I accept this license, and uh, then you can run it. All right. Click on next. Thereafter, create a desktop icon. Then add to path. All right. So if you don't add it path, then uh, in Windows this might not work. So best way to do that, add it to in a path. Thereafter, I'm going to simply click here, next. Uh, all right, so I, I think we are also going to add these things so that we can open any folder directly in a Visual Studio. All right, thereafter, click on install. So it might take a while to complete its installation. After that, it will be ready to use for our Python programming. So installation is done. Now we can launch our Visual Studio code. In short, we can say VS Code. All right. Let's go ahead and close it. So it might take a while to launch it. So it is just restarting in the background because this is the first time uh, it is running in the computer. That is why it is taking some time. And uh, I think now it is ready. Let me uh, Let me bring it here. All right. So there now you see this visual code, uh, uh, visual studio code is installed. Thereafter, it says that remote WSL it wants Windows subsystem for Linux and uh, it is installed and it wants that WSL extension to be installed in this uh, uh, visual studio. So the moreover, I don't want to be installed this one because I had uh, installed that WSL for a special purpose. So here it is installed. How you can get started? You have to first click on here, extension. Thereafter, you have to search here a Python. So there we want to install here a Python. All right. So there is a Python. If you click on here, it says that uh, this is a Python official version. There we have another Python version, Python for a VS code. All right, so you can install any of these, but moreover, these are the third party. And uh, I only want to install this one. So there, if you click on here, it will install this uh, Python for your Visual Studio. Moreover, it also install this Python in the computer as well. All right. So this is going to download this Python and then finally it will install. So in meantime, it will take some time. So in meantime, we can also go through with other features of a Visual Studio while it is installing. All right. So how you can uh, uh, work with the Python? Uh, if, if you click on here, it, this one is Explorer. That's mean you can create the files and uh, folders from here. And if you want to search anything inside a project of your uh, Visual Studio, VS Code, you can search from here. If you are using here a git or a bitbucket etc for a version control, you can use this one. And uh, if you want to run it into a debug mode, then definitely you can use this one. All right. So we are going to uh, we are going to wait till uh, this Python is installed in our computer. Then we will start coding with Python. All right. So it says that Python is installed in our computer. And here, if you see there, uninstall version, uninstall button, that means it is already installed. All right. Now come here in Explorer. And uh, currently, we do not have any uh, file here. That is why it is saying that uh, either open a folder or uh, 
clone here uh, repository so what I'm going to do here I'm going to create a new file a simply new file all right thereafter I'm going to just save it and the place where I'm going to save it this this, this one is just a download and there I'm gonna say here hello world .py. that's mean this is going to be a Python file don't worry about this one if you put here an extension it will automatically convert it into a Python file all right now if you notice here the Python sign is there that's mean this one is a Python file and if you click on this open editor you will see there the file name which is open there so this hello world.py is opened there and this one I had just opened that perhaps by mistake so these are the file which are open there uh, we can also close that one thereafter you have got here a Python and if you want to zoom in this coding area you can simply press here control and plus sign it will zoom in all right so this whole this whole visual studio code editor thereafter you can simply use here a print statement if you want to print here hello world all right and then if you want to run it simply click on here and uh, from here you can also select your uh, python version so it says that uh, by default the python anaconda 3 3 is selected which i have already installed in my computer thereafter you can save it otherwise you can also run it from here and once you run it it will show here hello world in a in a terminal all right so this is the first time that is why it is just restarting every system uh, all the thing all right now finally what it does uh, what it does here so it find out this python dot exe thereafter it is the activation of selected python environment is not supported etc etc so what i can do here uh, all right so use command from no worries all right so this one is a python then it also run this uh, hello world.py python file and finally it is printed here hello world all right thereafter if you want to change here you can say hello world how are you guys let's go ahead and run it how you can run it once again you can simply click on here run python in uh, python file in terminal now you have got here hello world how are you guys